so I didn't really think it was possible to create multiple consistent characters easily in mid-journey. But today, I'll show you exactly how to do this without using face swapping, character sheets, seed numbers, or split screens. I'll split this presentation into two parts. In the first part, I'll show you the basic method that I use, and in the second part, I'll show you how to overcome obstacles that you'll likely come across. There's also a final warning at the end that you should take note of. Make sure you watch my previous video on how to create consistent characters if you haven't seen it already. It goes into more detail on how to use this method, but you don't need to have seen it to follow along. So here's the basic no frills prompt that I use to create multiple consistent characters. Three different poses of a couple, Henry and Maddie, isolated on a blank white background, aspect ratio 3 to 1, style raw. Here's the starter image that we'll base our modifications on. I ask for three poses to get a variety of images. I call them a couple so that mid-journey understands that there is a relationship between these two characters and I give them names so I can find the prompt again more easily. I also ask for a blank background to make it easier to swap it out later on. This step is only required if you're using mid-journey on Discord. Use forward slash settings and click the remix button to turn on remix mode. For the rest of this tutorial, I'll use the website, but you can read my article on Medium if you'd like to see screenshots from Discord. I'll link the article in the description, but you should still be able to follow along in this tutorial. After you've selected your image, click on the Vary Region button. Paint over two of the images in the editor using the rectangle button at the bottom and modify the prompt to Henry and Maddie walking through a park in spring. Here's the result. Now we want to remove the old image and expand the new image. So paint over the area all the way from the right of the screen until it just touches the back of the man on the left. This will paint in the background with the leaves of the tree behind Henry and Maddie. Change the prompt to blank white background and submit. To fix the dimensions of the image, click on the custom zoom button if you're using Discord or the change AR button if you're using the website. Change the aspect ratio to 16.9. Here's the result. I didn't like the clothing he was wearing, so I decided to change it. Use the Vary Region button again, and this time use the lasso tool to paint over his shirt. Also, change the prompt too. Henry is wearing a blue woolen jersey. And here is the final result. If you're lucky you won't have any problems, but you probably will encounter some issues along the way, so stay tuned as I go over what might happen and how you can fix them. I changed the prompt, but the characters don't appear in the image. So you modified the starter prompt after clicking on the Vary button, but the characters didn't appear. Like this. Henry and Maddie walking through a park in spring. To fix this issue, you'll need to use your starter image as a reference image. On Discord, go back to the initial image, open it in a browser and copy the URL of the image. On the website, it's a bit easier. Just go back to the starter image, click on the Options button, it looks like three horizontal lines, click on Copy, and Image URL. Place the image URL at the start of your prompt. Now submit, and you should see your characters appearing in the new image. The characters won't change position or their clothes don't match the modified prompt. So you placed your characters into the new image, but they're wearing the same clothes or they're in the same pose, like this. There are two ways you can fix this. One is to add an image weight to the end of your prompt after you add the image URL to the start of the prompt. In mid-journey, version 6, the image weight can range from 0 to 3, and the default is 1 if you don't include an image weight. So try dialing down that image weight. Start with a value of 0.5. This will give more weight to the prompt than the image. If you tried that and it still didn't work, you should try using a different reference image. Do a search for an image on the internet or in mid-journey. For example, 
couple cuddling on couch. If you're using an image from mid-journey, you only need to copy the URL of the image into the start of the prompt. Here's the result. Finally, here's an important warning about using this method for creating consistent multiple characters in mid-journey. It works well with couples, as you can see with these examples, but it doesn't work so well with other characters. Here are a couple of attempts I made using a father and son and also a mother and daughter. I'll keep experimenting and see if I can improve my method. Check out my Medium article which I'll link in the description as it has more tips and tricks. In the meantime, please subscribe if you want more. Have fun and keep experimenting with Mid Journey.